Okay, like I had mentioned guys, well, the first thing that I like to do before I start to shave is use an exfoliator uh, just to kind of wake your face up, get everything moving, and just get your, get your hair to stand up on end and get your face uh, prepared for the shave. So, first things first, let's go ahead and wet the face. There we go. And when it comes to this stuff, you don't really need much uh, to be effective. It's about that much. It lathers pretty well. It's got kind of a mildly rough texture to it. And you want to focus on the parts, obviously, uh, that have facial hair. You know, mustache area and underneath the chin and everything. And just kind of massage it in. And as you do it, you can start to kind of feel your facial hair kind of stand up on end. And time to rinse off. Woo! Okay, now it's time to start building our lather. So, when your brush is ready, let's out the hot water here. As you can see, one of the advantages of a badger brush, badger brush, it may not look like it's very wet here. Watch this. This thing holds water like a sponge. It's fantastic. Okay, so the next thing, we take our soap and our brush. Give it some swirls. You see the lather start to build there, it's starting to get foamy. Kind of push down the brush just a little bit so it fans out like so to get into the, I guess what I'd call like the head of the brush. Kind of soaks into the middle there. A nice rich lather there, it's starting to build. That should be sufficient. Get some of it off my hand there. You take a shave mug and just continue the same process inside the mug. And we're going to apply it to our mug. Just take notice of the amount that I'm using. camera there. All right, right there is about all you need. And now we continue lathering here with the shave brush. And almost right away you notice that the lather starts to thicken out. It gets a little bit more rich. There we go. That's right about where it needs to be. A lot of guys out there, myself included, um, normally like to uh, fill the sink up with hot water and just let the mug sit there for a couple of minutes and the ceramics of the mug seem to soak up the heat like a magnet and which in turn obviously heats the lather. So it translates to really hot lather uh, that you get to apply to your face, which believe me, it may not sound like that big of a deal, hot versus cold, but it really makes all the difference in the world. Another thing I like to do guys as a form of prep um, is to use hot towels to help keep my face open. Um, just a little basic hand towel. You get some nice hot water. I basically make it as hot as the sink will make it. Wring it out. And you just kind of use it to, to make a beard for yourself. You know, kind of like a dollar store Santa Claus. Um, you can feel the heat from the towel um, just kind of soaking into your face there. And we're going to repeat this two more times. Okay, well that wraps up the hot towel prep. Now we're going to go back to our lather. Okay, when it comes to applying the lather, guys, um, there is a technique to it, but it's definitely not rocket science. Um, but the way I like to think of it is it's kind of like broad strokes, almost like you're, you're painting a bedroom. You know, just like this, you know, broad, even strokes. You're not doing this, you know, like you're painting a painting, more just like you're painting a large surface area. And you're just going back and forth, nice and even strokes, almost like a guy painting a car with an air gun, you know, just smooth even, consistent. That's the name of the game. Okay, here we go. Your lather starts to dry out just a tad, just to add a little bit, just a few drops of water to it to revitalize it. And look at that, going right back up. Okay, and some of you may ask, uh, why use a brush instead of just your hands? Okay, well, the main reason is because of the hairs on the brush. When you're doing it like this and you're doing it up and down, it helps kind of get the cream underneath, or get the lather, excuse me, underneath the hairs on your face. So instead of just laying on top, it's actually laying down underneath them, um, actually on the skin and protecting your skin, which is the whole point of a lather. It's not supposed to just sit on the hair, it's supposed to sit on your skin too. So, okay, you got our sink filled with water. Okay, and the main difference um, as far as how the, the approach to method shaving has, 
has changed my, my technique in shaving. Um, the main thing you want to remember is don't press down. Um, I know I used to do that. I don't know about you guys. You know, to get a close shave, you think that you had to give it a little bit of, you know, good old fashioned elbow grease, but you really don't need to do that. What you need to keep in the back of your head as far as your technique, let the razor just kind of glide across your skin. Don't let it, don't force it into your face. Just let it kind of gently and slowly glide across your skin. Okay, um, we're going to start out with pass number one. I usually like to go down, as in with the green, on pass number one. This thing filled with nice hot water here. And I usually like to start on the sideburns. See, I'm not pressing down. Just letting it glide. We're not going to get it all on the first pass. That's why you do more than one pass. Obviously, a sharp razor is really important, too. So, you need to check your blades often. As soon as they start to dull, change them out. Okay. You may have noticed I'm not going over the same place twice. That's critical. If there's no lather there, don't shave it. If you need to go back and do that place again, just re-lather and do it again. But don't try and get it on the same pass. So as you'll see, I'm doing the top part of my face first. It tends to be easier if you kind of stop at the jawbone. Mine's right about there. Um, it's, it's kind of difficult if you're trying to take a long stroke and then you have to go over something that's curved. So you kind of separate it into sections. And this is what I find works for me. All right, on the bottom side of the face. That is pass number one. So we're gonna lather up again and give it a second go. Now we're ready for pass two. This time we're going to be going against the grain. Okay, now we're going to take one more pass at it, just a real quick one, take care of a few uh, sideways strokes, and we should be done. And this time we're just going to be doing some sideways strokes. Again guys, this is what works for me. Um, you really need to study your face and figure out your own facial, pair, facial hair uh, pattern of growth. Um, because like I said, everybody's different. This is just the technique that I've used or technique that I've learned works for me. If it does start to hurt for any reason, stop. That means you're hurting your skin. Your skin's telling you to stop. So if you feel any pain for any reason, stop what you're doing. The last thing you want to do is just check your face, run your hand over it while you still got a little bit of moisture to see if you missed anything. Feel for rough patches. Okay, so we're going to rinse up and apply our aftershave balm. Okay, one of the things to remember when you're rinsing up, do not use warm water. Warm water is what you use to get your pores open. You need to use cool water to close your pores and finish the process. It's a nice soft towel. Don't rub your face. Pat it down. Okay, we check our face, no cuts, no scratches, no nothing, good to go. Take our aftershave balm, just a little bit, you don't need much, about the size of the tip of your index finger, nice good leather, you can smell the plants in this, get that kind of botanical smell to it. Alright guys, so that about does it. Um, wait a few minutes uh, if you're going to apply some, uh, some aftershave cologne. Uh, right now I'm just using the Old Spice Classic. Hey guys, it works. It's classic. It's fresh. It's clean. It's awesome. So, like I said, just wait a few minutes. Um, let your skin kind of finish closing up uh, before you want to do this since this does contain alcohol. But I understand if you want to get a little bit of a fragrance going, you do need to make a little bit of a sacrifice. But just, do, in my opinion, do not do it right after you're done shaving. That's just a way to destroy your skin, dries it out, make you look older. Wait a good five to ten minutes before you're going to do that. So, 
thanks so much for watching guys I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, I hope to do more um, if you guys want to want to see more if you have any questions or anything on this again I am new to this I'm not an expert this is by no means a manual on shaving method shaving or anything that I've mentioned here this is simply my take on it and what I've learned through experimentation I urge you to do the same get out there do your homework try things out but again just shoot me any questions I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video You know, normally this doesn't look silly when I do it, but I think when you put the whole camera thing into it, yeah, I'm standing here in front of a mirror holding a wet cloth to my face, shirtless, and just staring. You will not defeat me, Snake Eyes. I am Storm Shadow. Hello, ladies. How are you? Fantastic.